my name is Karen Trainer from the Huron Consulting Group, and I'm so excited to be joined today by John Bridges. John, if you wouldn't mind a quick introduction. Thanks, Karen. My name is John Bridges. I'm a managing director with Huron. Uh, my focus area is the northeastern United States. Former Oracle um, employee in the Northeast, uh, so very familiar with the Oracle systems and the Oracle procedures. Thank you, John. So I've only got two questions for you today. All right. So first question, we've been here at K-Scope and there's a whole bunch of talk about the cloud and everything that's fabulous with the cloud. So hypothetically, say I'm a company and I don't have anything on the cloud yet. Everything that I have is currently on premise. How would I even go about getting started? Sure, so that's a good question. Um, at Huron, we, we've encountered this question a lot. We, we've done over 50 different cloud uh, implementations of various Oracle products, predominantly in the EPM space, and we get asked that all the time. How do we start? What do we need to do? And, and one of the things we offer a lot of our clients is we sit down and do a blueprint to the cloud for a day. Um, and really, we, we just basically, by looking at their financial systems, where they want to go and what they want to do, uh, recommend a course to the to the cloud. So, for a, a good example, if you're a you know very large uh, Hyperion client already, let's say, and you already have on-premise planning, on-premise HFM, and and everything's integrated already, why would you want to pull that out and go right to the cloud? Mm -hmm. uh, we all know the cloud's coming, but I mean, there's a big opportunity cost to that. So. One of the things we, we're doing with a lot of our clients to help them dip their toe in the water on the cloud is if you have a, a specialized application that you want to bring up on, on planning and budgeting and cloud service, or if there is a country or a segment that is currently on an older system and they want to come up on, on uh, planning or budgeting, we recommend that you put them into the cloud. Um, and that way you understand and you dip your toe in and you can really test drive PVCS before you uh, go full cloth to that. Super, fantastic, excellent. Now, second question. Okay, second question for you is, let's say, all right, I've dipped my toe into the cloud. Yeah. I've got some stuff on the cloud and I have some stuff on premise still but I need to somehow do some reporting to make it all work together and see some numbers come out, combine together. How might I go about doing Actually, that? we did presentation on this. Oh, did uh, we really? Our, our guy, Mike Nader. Uh -huh. um, so what you're talking about is a hybrid deployment, uh -huh. and obviously for the next couple of years, we think that's going to be very prevalent mm -hmm. out there in the marketplace. So it's, let's say somebody's got uh, an on-prem GL or they might be moving to a Fusion GL, but they have on-premise HFM or on-premise planning. How do you tie that all together and then get one picture and reporting? Uh, we've done a lot of that work, uh, whether it be through sort of a data mart in the cloud with S-Base on top or you know standard data mart on-premise. Uh, it's really about the integrations and the timeliness of that. So we, we have done that in, a, in quite a few places as well, and it goes hand in glove with the roadmap to the cloud. Because I think at the end of the day, it's the time to look at, you know, when you're going to the cloud, do we want to look at some of the best practices? We haven't been able to report, we got five different reporting systems, five different systems we're trying to get reporting out of and nothing matches, you know. When you, when you start looking at that holistic roadmap, it's not just going to the cloud, but how do I get best practices involved as well, so. Fantastic. Yeah, it's been, it's been an exciting time. So That's great. Thank you so much for taking the time today to help me with my two questions. No problem. Enjoy the rest of your conference, and, and thanks again. Thanks, Karen. Mm -hmm.